Have you thought of having a mentor? According to the dictionary, mentors are experienced and trusted advisors. They are fantastic for you to get ahead in your career, in your life, and actually to give you a different perspective of things you could achieve that you never ever thought was possible. I'm Vita Luca and I'm a serial entrepreneur. If you are into entrepreneurship, starting your business now, thinking of starting, you should subscribe to this channel and click the bell. I'm here on a weekly basis to share all the lessons I learned with you. Here's my two cents on how to find the ideal ones for you. First thing I want you to do is to list the things that you want to learn in your life. If you project, you say, okay, I would love to be like that woman, or I would love to be an entrepreneur, or I would love to be more creative. You know, list the things that you want to achieve for yourself. And be specific. When you go into finding the mentors, you want to find the right mentors who have a much deeper expertise in those things that you want to learn about. Now that you listed what you really want to learn, you need to go about finding the right experts, the right people, the right advisors in your, you know, in that in that particular area, let's say that you want to be better at pitching your idea or pitching your business to an investor. First thing you do is LinkedIn. Go to LinkedIn. Look for, for search terms that are around the subject you want to learn. I'm sure that in one search, you're gonna find like hundreds of people who will be able to potentially be your mentors. Once you find them, you go into understanding if you have mutual connections. And when you know there are people who are already connected to that person via someone who you already know, these are the best ways to get in touch with that person. Now, if there aren't any mutual, mutual connections, that's fine. You're still able to connect with the person, but just make sure that you write a message that is really spot on. I am a, a creative, just started my business, exchanged some ideas about pitching my idea, and I thought you have the right skills that I need to learn from you. Do you have 15 minutes for a coffee? And wait for the response. It might be that you're pleasantly surprised that someone lives near you and would be okay to meet you for a coffee. The most important, crucial thing about developing a relationship with your potential mentor is actually developing a relationship. Even if you're an introvert, an extrovert, it doesn't matter. You sense if there's a chemistry, if there's, you know, some exchange going on. If there is some exchange going on, I recommend you to, you know, thank you very much. It was amazing to meet you. Can I follow up with you, let's say in a couple of weeks time, because I would love to share some more ideas with you and, and see if perhaps you can help me on the next pitch that I'm gonna do. You're gonna see if the person replies to your next email. If they don't, you just need to know that they're not your mentors. The best mentors you can have are the ones who actually care about you and they would be willing to open their, you know, their agendas to have, even if it's a 15 minutes chat with you on an ongoing basis. But you want to sense if that, if that person is actually interested in you enough so that you have this ongoing conversation. If you're working in a company and want to be an entrepreneur, I would highly advise you not to get a mentor inside the company. What you're gonna learn from them is how to be better at working in a company, but not necessarily to start something new, not necessarily to, you know, to hire teams, to hire new people, to start a product from scratch with no money, right? And these are the things that entrepreneurs would be able to teach you if you really wanna be one. The relationship between mentors and mentees are mutual, beneficial. I am a mentor nowadays to a couple of mentees. To me, it's hugely valuable when I get exposed to the excitement and the questions, the super curiosity that all the people who want me to be their mentors pose to me. It's almost like when they ask those questions, it comes to my mind, wow, I have so much I can share with people. And that makes me feel really good. What is important is that those relationships can only be nurtured in real life. It's very difficult for you to do something to be mentored or to be a mentee online. The best way to find mentors is meeting people in real life. IRL. There's nothing that, you know, that is better than connecting with someone eye to eye and striking a real life conversation. The best way for you to find people in that particular environment is meetup. I know I talked about Meetup before, 
if you've seen all my videos, I love meetups because it's a great way for you to find like-minded people. So let's say, again, the same example, you want to learn how to be better at pitching your idea or pitching your business, and you find a meetup that is all about learning how to pitch. You're gonna go there and, okay, the, the, the person, the teacher, the tutor, someone who's gonna be teaching everyone, they might be a professional who's gonna charge you loads of money if you want a one-to-one -one conversation, but someone who's just seated by your side might be someone who's got, I don't know, five years more of experience in that, and they're already ahead of the game, ahead of you. So that could be a great person to become your mentor in that particular subject. How about that? That's it for today. I'm Bita Luca, and I'm here every single week to share one or two lessons about how to become a great person, a great entrepreneur, how to find your passions. Now I wanna know from you. So do you have a mentor? Have you thought of having a mentor? And if not, what would you like to be mentored on? Put on the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I really hope to see you again very soon.